Hi everyone, this is um, Pause and Practice 3.3 and in this pro uh, project we're going to look at some efficiency measures for using um, PowerPoint. We're going to look at how you can hide and then reveal slides. You can um, practice with a laser pointer, change pen colors, that kind of thing. Save, save your annotation. Um, a lot of this stuff in here I, is like, yeah, I think it's a lot of um, extra stuff. I mean, it's very nice to know. The one thing that I think is really an important uh, element to know is how to hide slides. So let's say you have a presentation that you give often and it's um, a 45 minute presentation. But you're asked to give that an abbreviated version that's, let's say, 20 minutes. Okay, they only, it's like, 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 let's say it's a presentation over lunch and they only have 20 minutes to give. Rather than having to create a new presentation or a subset, you can just hide slides so you don't really have to, to start a new presentation or you don't have to copy slides out. You can just hide the ones that you're, that you're going to eliminate for this abbreviated version of your presentation. So um, it's, it's a very nice technique to use. So we're in our uh, presentation where we're looking at how to do presentations, right? Presentation planning. And um, we're going to go ahead and go to the transitions. And um, we're going to do, because on the last one we did, we took the mouse click off, right? So we're going to put that back on and deselect after and apply to all. So now we have uh, the presentation set up where it's not running on its own, but rather it is um, only goes to the next slide when you click. Okay, so we kind of undid one of the things we did in the last one. All right, so let's go to slide four. And, you know, in this abbreviated version, um, we're going to just hide this this presentation structure um, grouping slide, right? So we want to go to slideshow and then find the setup group and there's a hide slide, right? So I'm going to click on hide slide and if you look at the number over here, the four has a slash through it like a knot, like the knot sign. And um, so you know that's hidden. Um, so let's go through and run the slideshow from beginning. And once again, you're not seeing the actual view, you're seeing my view. Um, so now number four would be the present, the white screen, but see it skipped right past it. Okay, so I'm gonna escape out of that. Um, if I do that again and I go through, right, and then if I um, I can go to the slide, right? So, I mean, it's like you can go back and forth to it. Um, let's see, practicing blanking slides in slideshow. Um, okay, so we're running a slideshow and you're talking, you're talking, and if I hit a B, it blanks out the slide, so you can get the audience's attention, you know, they're not furiously writing down what's on the slide. You hit B, it comes back to the slide. If you do a W, it makes a white slide, W back, and it goes back. Um, if you hit escape, it goes out of slideshow. Okay, so set up the slideshow. Um, let's see, set up slideshow. Okay, so we're on the slideshow in the setup group. We did set up slideshow. All right, so we want to click on um, the laser pointer um, and make it blue. Let's do blue, and then we're go, gonna do okay. So, 
let's go slideshow and press your control and I'm clicking and with my control and it's using a blue laser to identify right okay um, let's see let's go to slide seven come on Helen um, okay so we're gonna oops seven so I want to right click and we're going to go to pointer options and we're going to select ink color and we're going to pick blue again let's do this blue and now what we want to do is we want to circle the word how so all i did was click and drag around and it high it it's it annotates or points out and you can save these uh, so that if you present the slideshow to someone afterwards like you give it to the group then these could be kept on there all right so um let's go back and let's do pointer options and highlighter and let's take the word involved I think I was supposed to change this to blue but we'll do yellow it's fine involved right So I typed a 13 and then I hit enter. Um, if I hit escape, I'm out of the highlighting, right? If I go and go back and select it, I'm back to it. So you can keep it in highlighter until you're done and then you would hit escape. So on 13, we want to highlight the words get help and feedback, right? So then I'm going to type a 17 and enter. It's going to take me to slide 17. And I want, I, I didn't hit escape, so I still have the um, highlighter on. So I'm going to highlight how an audience accepts. And what else am I supposed to do? Remember, oh, audience remembers down here. Okay, I'm going to right click and we want to do pointer options again and we're going to select eraser. So now I can click on these and they erase it. Okay, I'm going to hit escape, get out of the eraser and I want to go to the end of my presentation. And I want to click on the um, So I selected this and I said end presentation and I do want to keep. And so the items that I annotated during the presentation are kept, right? And then these were gone because I erased them, right? Um, okay, we're done with this one. So this was a pretty simple one and uh, you don't have to do three, four. So at, this is the end of the chapter. You can save it and submit it and then you're done with PowerPoint. All right, thank you.